Welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. I have a very exciting episode to share with you today. I hope that you stay tuned. I am making some beautiful projects using my brand new Creality Falcon 2 Pro laser. It's been a little bit since I've done a laser video, so I'm very excited to share this with you. This is such a fun process. If it's something that you're just wanting to learn more about or you're in the market to purchase one, either way, I hope that you're entertained by this fun process and all of the beautiful projects that I make today. If you like crafting, DIYs, dupes, hats, or flips or just creating in general, I would love if you would consider subscribing. If you do like any of the projects that I make in today's video, remember to hit that thumbs up. But let's go make some DIYs. I am so excited to be talking about Creality today. I have worked with them a few times in the past and they really make such a superior laser. I absolutely love it. As you can see on the picture here, this laser ends up being fully enclosed. This is the first type of laser that I have, or first kind of fully enclosed laser that I have worked with and I was very excited. When you put it together, the base of the laser is already assembled that you can see kind of off to the left of my screen there, but you do just have to assemble a couple of pieces to get that enclosure on. So as you can see, it's just putting the frame together there and then sliding these plastic panels in. There are a couple of side panels as well, but this gives you the protection from not having to have your safety glasses on. You have a 360 degree viewing area that you can still see, and you don't have to have that stress of where's my glasses, I have to have those on. It is very nice. It also has this little exhaust pipe here, so it sucks all of the smoke and that uh, uh, burning smell, sucks that right out and either puts it into like an exhaust compartment if you have it, out your window, out your garage, and so forth. It is very, very handy and I really love that feature. Anytime I set up a laser, I like to do a couple of test cuts to kind of see how powerful the laser is and what I'm working with. I am cutting about 19 millimeters of plywood here or three quarters of an inch and it cuts this like butter. It is so beautiful. You can see here when I take this out, it's cut all the way through. This can actually cut up to 10 millimeters in one pass, which is amazing. You also have the capability to cut cardboard, wood, bamboo, rubber, leather, fabric, acrylic, plastic, metal, and the list goes on. By far one of the most popular projects that I make using a laser is making different signs. So I'm gonna make a spring sign right here and it's going to be so easy using this laser. Now I am using the Falcon 2 Pro 22 watt laser. It also comes in a 40 watt laser, but I am using the 22 watt laser and it is completely meeting my needs. So keep that in mind here. Now this machine is so neat because it now has an integrated camera that you can use for batch cutting. It makes it so easy to center your items. So I love that new feature. There is also a light inside of the laser. So when you slide the door open, you'll see me when I open it in a moment. There's a light that's in there so you can see a little bit better of what you're dealing with when you've cut things out. It's just always nice to have a little bit of extra light in there. Now, if you're wanting to sell projects using a laser, this is such a great investment. It will definitely boost your business to the next level. Maybe you have a less powerful laser you're wanting to upgrade. This is a perfect machine to do that with. Even as an entry level machine, this is perfect. It is very affordable, especially in contrast to much larger machines that maybe you're not sure that that's the step that you wanna take, or maybe you're not ready for that. This is a perfect machine, whether you're upgrading or entry level. Now you can see how easily those items cut and how they just fell right out of the, um, when I picked up like the uh, negative space there of the wood and you can see that spring right there, how delicate that is. I mean, it cuts with such precision and it always just amazes me when you go to remove your project, how easily it all cuts out and all those pieces are cut just perfectly. Now I did use some spray paint to spray uh, paint these some different colors. I thought it would be really fun to use kind of that really bright blue mixed with an orange and the yellow. I thought that was just kind of fun spring color. Now when I assemble my signs, I just use like Gorilla Glue, or in this case, I'm using the DAP brand of glue that I just pick it up like at Home Depot or at Lowe's. And I just use a little bit. It doesn't take a lot. I am cutting with um, 1 8 inch wood, but you can definitely do, as you saw earlier, very thick projects with this too. So it just kind of depends on your project and what your needs are. 
One of the questions that I get asked a lot is, do I design my own signs or, or projects, or am I using files that I find? Where do I find them? And so forth. So the files that you use in when you're cutting with a laser is an SVG file. And I purchase a lot of mine from Etsy, but there are several different websites that you can find different files from. And I'll leave a link to any available files in my description box. So if you're happening to want to try some of these or, or kind of look at them, I'll leave those links down there so you can find those. But this particular one I did get on Etsy. Uh, one of the signs I make in today's video, I actually ended up creating from beginning to end, which was the first time that I had done that. I was quite proud of it. I love the way it turned out. But there are a lot of uh, projects already done. You just want to make sure when you're using someone's project, if you're going to be selling them, that if they have a commercial license, that you meet all of the needs on that. I just want to throw that in there. But I just put this in the middle of this Forsythia wreath, and I just think this looks so beautiful. I I love that bright yellow for springtime. And if you've watched my videos, you guys know that I am like hungering for spring. I am so ready for it to be here. And I think this is really just enveloping all of those spring feels. I love the colors on this. What do you guys think of this sign? I would love to know. It really is so neat to be able to look in on this and not have to worry about glasses. My problem was my children kept walking into my studio and if I was cutting with a laser, it was always like, no, don't come out. So it really is nice to have that 360 degree cover on there. I can still see what's going on and I don't have to stress. I know that my eyes are being protected on there. Now this is a little scale that I've decided to make. I'm gonna make some tiered tray items because tiered tray is definitely up there with signs for a very popular item to make with lasers. They're still very in, everybody still wants them. Uh, when I go to different like craft shows or market days or things, definitely tiered tray items are always very busy booths and people love them. So it's a great idea if that's what you're making or that's what you want to get into making or selling, whether you sell completed project or you sell unfinished wood, definitely this machine is going to take care of all of your needs for making those items. Now this is just, I was kind of going for like a potting table type of vibe, a garden table, something. And so I thought this little scale would be really cute. And this color of green, it's called Leafy Green by rust -Oleum, And I love this color. It's got, it's not quite kelly green and it's almost like not quite pastel I don't know I really loved it and I thought it just had such a great color on here now this scale has this screen it's not really a screen though I want to call it a screen but a dial maybe I'm not really sure what this part of the scale is called but I'm painting the circle black because in the file that I purchased, it came where you could print the face of the scale, the face, maybe it's a face, not a dial, I don't know. If you know, let me know down in the comments, but I was able to print that out on some sticker paper. I could have printed it on regular paper and just Mod Podged it on there, but I thought sticker paper would hold a little better and it was just easier for me. And I'm going to go around the edge with a little bit of black paint. The reason for that is when I cut my sticker out or the paper, uh, you're gonna have kind of a white edge, even though like where your black ink is, you know, the back side of the paper is gonna have that white color. So I'm just trying to disguise that and have this look more like an actual face of the scale. And then I love to distress things. And I really thought it would be kind of fun to think that this scale was maybe like, several decades old, something that people had used for their potting or getting the right amount of seeds or soil or something in my mind. So I just kind of wherever it looked like it might naturally be distressed, I just kind of dry brushed a little bit of that black paint on there. Maybe the enamel of the green paint was uh, chipping away after all of these years of use or something like that. I really have a lot of fun making up different uh, stories to go with my items that I make. And this was no exception. So I just glue the face of that scale on there and it looks so cute. I love how this came together, but let's make a couple other items to go with our tiered tray. Another wonderful thing about the Falcon 2 Pro Laser is the fact that it has an integrated air assist and that's constantly working while the machine is cutting. And what that does is it helps to blow air where the laser is cutting to minimize like charring. So that way when you pull open your, uh, open up the laser and look at your project, you have nice wood pieces there rather than having like that burn or char marks all around the item, which I mean, if you've seen laser 
series of projects that have those on there. I mean, it really is not a great look. So it is so nice to have that built in and that way it's constantly working so you can avoid that from happening. Now I cut out these cute little uh, letters here that spell bloom with these little butterflies and there's a cute little background that I will glue them on for my tiered tray. I just thought this fun little pastel color of pink was perfect to kind of bring in that spring feeling. And then these little flowers that were cut out as well. I had a lot of fun kind of deciding how I wanted to paint them. It's just a one little solid piece with these three different potted flowers on there. And so it was so delicate. I didn't want to spray paint them. I took them into my studio and I just used a combination of some paint markers, acrylic paint markers that you can pick up either um, on Amazon or Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I've seen them all of those places. And then I'm just using some chalk paste because that was thicker than paint. I didn't want it running off of the edges and just a little brush. And I'm just kind of going through and I thought this was a fun combination of the color of flowers in this little display that I have here. And I really loved them. And when I got to this point, I thought, well, the pots were kind of plain. How do I want to do that? So I thought it would be really fun. You'll have to let me know if you like this, but I got a blue color of paint marker and I did a couple of different designs on them. I was kind of going for that white and blue potted look that's so popular. So I'm not really sure um, if I achieved that look or not, but I mean, it looks really cute, but I mean, you definitely could paint them a solid color. It's so fun to be able to unleash your creativity and to be able to uh, have the capability with a machine like this to cut such beautiful pieces and then have your creativity come through in doing uh, painting the projects or assembling them or doing the different things, putting different uh, pieces together as a kit or something. So if you run an Etsy store, you sell at a boutique or you have a storefront or something and you're just wanting to kind of take that business to a different level and have something, I mean, this is going to take you there and it's so fun. And you can see how I have... Um, where I glued those letters, the market letters in there. And right now I'm just gluing the frame around that, that I have that original piece of wood that was the cutout. And that helps to get all of your letters um, even because sometimes it's very hard when you're uh, doing things because unlike when you use like a paper cutting machine, uh, you don't have like a carrier sheet or something like that. So you just have the little wood pieces. And so it kind of works like that, kind of like putting together a puzzle and then you just remove that. And then some of the pieces like these words were all cut out together as one piece uh, for each word. So I didn't have to have uh, any type of um, stencil or anything to help me place those. But I really love that this almost reminded me kind of of a chalkboard with that cute green color on the background. But all together, I think these tiered tray items look so beautiful. I think that it definitely screams spring. Uh, I do love the cheerful colors that are on there. And I just think they're so cute. And that scale is I can see me using that all year long with all sorts of different things. I absolutely love that piece. What do you guys think of the tiered tray items? Do you guys like these? Seasonal items are so popular when it comes to home decor, whether you're making them, selling them, purchasing them, everybody wants different seasonal decor. And Easter is so fun to be able to have some cute decor for. And I feel kind of sad this year that Easter was so early because I like to kind of take my time and create a lot of Easter stuff, but I felt a little rushed this year. Anyhow, this machine was able to cut out this darling rocking bunny. I think this is so cute. And I really feel like items like this, if you're you're wanting to be selling some pieces. It's so simple to cut out and assemble. It takes a little amount of time, but I think the impact that you get for what it is is just beautiful. So projects like this are perfect to cut and sell. And with the capability of the camera on this machine for lining everything up, you really can do batch cutting and cut several out and get several made in such a short period of time. Now, this little rocking base here has you glue a couple pieces together because there's a little notch that is cut out for you to slide this bunny down into. You can kind of see on his front paw and his back paw, there's like this little teeny uh, protruding piece there. That's what will slip down into the rocking base. And I actually didn't glue mine into the base because I thought, well, you could take it out and put, um, I don't know, a different colored bunny or store it easier. Or maybe there was different things that you could cut out to put in there for different times of the year. Um, so that was something I was going to look into. I mean, how cute would like a little rocking cow or a rocking pig or something be? I mean, a horse too, but, but you know what I mean. 
After I did this, I of course thought, well, he's pretty primitive looking. Let's kind of shabby him up a bit. So I just took my nail file and went around all of the edges just to kind of give him a little bit of character. But I mean, you could do so many different things. I mean, print on some tissue paper or some scrapbook paper to put on him to give him a fun look or a napkin or decoupage, uh, you know, would be really cute. Tie a cute little bow tie on him. Uh, make it a Mrs. Bunny. Put a little bow tie or a, not a bow tie, but a ribbon in her hair or something. Um, and either way, I mean, that's so fun. The possibilities are endless. And if you're selling these, you can kind of see which items sell better and kind of stick with that. I did rub a little bit of antiquing wax around the edge and over him to give him kind of that rustic look, but look at how cute this turns out. I mean, this is so beautiful. And I think, I mean, it really is kind of basic and minimal, but such a cute piece. And really, I mean, I feel like this kind of has a definite primitive or farmhouse vibe, but I mean, you could kind of make it fit any type of decor. And I think that he just turned out so cute. What do you guys think of him? Here's a look at this machine all together here. You can kind of see it all in one frame here. This really is such a beautiful and sleek machine and it's perfect for like small rooms or studios. It can also be placed like on a cabinet or a cabinet shelf or something like that. Um, really versatile, but it also has a large working area. It has about like 15 and three quarters inches by like 16.3 inches or something like that to be able to have for your working surface. So it's a very nice surface for your projects as well. So even though it's sleek and kind of work in like a smaller space, you still have a very large work area that you're cutting from. Now this project is the one I was telling you about that I created from beginning to end. I actually have gotten to know Lightburn kind of well and so I've kind of just been fiddling around and playing around and I saw a sign on Pinterest that I was like that is really cute but I couldn't find it to buy anywhere and so I kind of was like I'm going to make my own. This sign kind of embodies the whole uh, idea that I had for today's video and today's projects was kind of, I wanted a potting shed sign. I just thought that this would be really fun. And in my mind, I could see how I wanted it to look. And I really do think I did a great job with being able to create it. So I feel like the more that you work with these things, the better confidence you'll get. And you'll be able to start creating your own projects as well. And it, it was quite simple. And I love the fact that I can do that. And the machine just knows exactly what to do. And that 22 watt laser cuts it out just beautifully. You can see that the base of the sign, I just spray painted with a matte black spray paint. And then I spray painted everything else white. And because I really wanted these letters and the framing to pop on this. And so I'm just putting a couple dots of that glue around the frame there. And then I'll just center that by eyeballing it as best I can. But you can kind of see up in the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to use that as a template to make sure all of the letters and everything get put exactly where they need to. So that way they're straight. They're going to be centered. It is so nice to be able to do that. You just want to be uh, conscientious of how much glue you're using because you don't want any glue to seep out from like under your letters and glue that down to the surface of the sign. I'm speaking from experience. I had that happen to me once and I have not had it happen since because I've been very conscientious of that. But you can see here, I'm just, I put a little bit of that glue into a little tray. I'm just dipping each of the letters down in. You can kind of see at the top of my screen there, that's a piece of painter's tape. And you guys didn't want to watch me spray paint because I mean, that's literally like watching paint dry, right? So <laughs> what I did was I just took a piece of painter's tape and put it onto a surface. And then I put all of my letters on that. That helps them. So when you turn on their, not turn on, but hit your spray, like on the spray paint, it doesn't blow those letters air. Uh, everywhere and so it kind of keeps in there so and then it's nice because I can bring them all in together and not have them fall or lose them so that is a very nice hack but I'm just taking each of those letters one by one dipping it in the glue and then just putting it back in just like putting a puzzle together when you were little kids like that's what this reminds me I was like my little kid puzzles here um but you can just see how simple that is. And it's so nice to be able to have a look. Now, this is the big reveal here when I pull this off and I'm making sure it's not glued to anything. Oh my gosh, you guys look at how cute this is. I just love this. I thought it was so cute. And I really, I mean, it really is everything that I had hoped. And I mean, I'm kind of proud of it because I did design it like with the cute little, uh, trowel and the little, uh, everything, the little plant there and everything. I just thought it turned out 
really fun and something that maybe maybe you'll see in my Etsy store later on down the road. I don't know. I really think that it turned out beautifully and I love it and I think it's perfect for all of today's projects. What do you guys think of this one? Okay, one last little project and you guys are I think you guys are really going to think this is a really fun thing to make. But really quick, I just want to show you the precision of how this laser cuts. So you can kind of see that line those two pieces right there how that laser cuts so close and is so precise. I mean, it's amazing how uh, well that works. Now when I was looking for some different things to cut out, I've really been working hard this year on trying to keep my craft studio space organized. And all of my little uh, Think tubes of paint like my acrylic paint and the little teeny size of the Waverly chalk paint. I have a lot of them. Well, I thought I had a lot of them, but anyway, they're all just kind of in a bin and I can never find what I want. And I mean, I'm always like lifting up five or six before I find the color that I need. And I found this file for a paint organizer. And I thought, I mean, it didn't even dawn on me that I could make stuff like this. Like I make such fun decor items, but I just wanted to show that it doesn't stop there. And I mean, I literally within finding this file, I purchased the file and within five minutes I was out and my laser was cutting this. That's how fast and and spur the moment like, hey, let's go make this. And within like 15 minutes, it was all cut out. And then I had it all glued together. And I started putting my little pots of paint in there. <laughs> and they were organized. It was the most wonderful thing. But it was such an easy project to do and put together. It took just a couple sheets of wood to be able to do this. But it just just so you know, it doesn't stop just at home decor items. The possibilities are endless. But I mean, look at this. I mean, doesn't that look so nice? I can have that sitting on my table now. I can see exactly what colors I need, where they are. I probably will cut a few more out of these uh, or of these out and then purchase a lot more paint. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a way to keep them organized. But I just wanted to highlight this so you could see uh, something different that you could make. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching me showcase this Falcon 2 Pro Laser. It is such a beautiful machine and that 22 watt laser cuts through these materials like butter. It just cut everything out so well. It is definitely something to look into if you're wanting to take your business to the next level, uh, have an entry into starting your own business or just a different direction that you want to go. It's just gone are the days that these big, huge companies have machines that do this stuff. It is so neat that these are available to have in your own studio, at your own home to be able to make projects with. I just love that the this technology is accessible uh, to you and to me. I just love that. All of the details are gonna be down in my description box on this laser and as well as all of the files that I can have available for you will be listed there as well. If you have any questions, leave them in my comments and I'll see uh, what questions I can answer for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Happy crafting. If you like the video that you just saw and you want to keep crafting together, here's another video that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.